Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to tie the Turk's Head Woggle and this particular one is a 3 lead 5 byte Turk's Head and the way you can tell that is how the braid is constructed here you can tell that we have a 3 braid 1, 2, 3 and the bites here are the amount of lobes that you will find you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so this will be a 3 lead 5 byte Turk's Head. To tie this one I'm using 120 centimeters of paracord and I just want to start by laying the paracord across my two fingers here. I want to come around the back and then around the front again and create an X. And I want to take my paracord around the back around the front and this time lay it parallel to the original strand so the shape should look like this then I want to tuck this end underneath this top right hand section here I'm just going to tuck that strand under and then pull it all the way through so the shape should look like that now. now. I just want to take this strand over to the left hand side and rotate my hand around. Now I want to take this strand here over the right hand. So I just want to cross these two over like that. <coughs> excuse me and then I want to take this strand underneath this one and over this one so we're going to just tuck it underneath pull it all the way through and then it's going to come over this right hand strand then if these two strands are parallel these two at the top here I just want to cross these two over and then take the free strand and come in underneath this right hand section and then pull that all the way through and then if I flip my hand around one more time Take the free end to the left and then I want to follow this original lead here. So I'm going to take the working end and just tuck it up where we started the knot. So that these two strands are now parallel. And now we can just follow the knot around one more time following the unders and overs of this original strand and just making sure that this next strand is parallel too. So it goes under here and then it goes over this strand and under the next one And you'll see it goes over again and you get the gist of it just follow this right around until you get back to the start of the knot so I've come back to the start of the knot and the first thing we want to do is just fair it up so the knots nice and even and we can do that just by stretching it out or if you want it a little bit tighter you can put it around a cylinder and then take slack out of the knot and then what we want to do is we want to hide these ends so this this strand is going to hide underneath these two here so I'm going to cut that off there and this strand here is also going to hide underneath these two strands 
so I'm going to cut that off right at that part there and then I'm just going to use a little bit of glue and glue those stray ends underneath the knot here so I've cut both of these ends and you can see that one is sitting flush just underneath here which is going to be hidden under these two strands and this little end here is also going to be hidden underneath these two strands and I'm just going to tuck that through that little gap and then I just need to put a dab of glue on each of these two strands so I've just put a dab of glue on each of these um, ends and I've tucked them up underneath these two strands we just need to wait for them to dry and then that should be the finished product and so that's what the woggle looks like with the ends tucked under and then glued into place